Hi everyone, in this video I've been asked to prove that A on B plus B on C plus C on A will be greater than or equal to 3 for the condition that we can know that A, B and C will each be greater than 0. So for this question I think the most helpful tool for us will be the A, M, G, M inequality. And if you're not familiar with that inequality, what it says is that the arithmetic mean of a set of terms will always be greater than or equal to the equivalent geometric mean of those terms. So for us, we've got three terms, A on B, B on C, and C on A. So if we think about the arithmetic mean of those terms, that would be the sum of those terms. So A on B plus B on C plus C on A, and then divided by the number of terms. So um, the way I'll write that is just multiplying by 1 on 3. So that, that there is the arithmetic mean and the reason we can see it will be helpful is because we've essentially got the left hand side of the inequality that we want to prove and we've also got a 3. So that's really helpful. Now um, the AMGM inequality says that that there, what we've just written that arithmetic mean, will be greater than or equal to the geometric mean. So here, instead of adding up the three terms, we multiply them together. And then instead of dividing by three, we take the third root. So if we think about what that would be, it would be A on B times B on C times C on A. And that would be to the power of one on three. Now, if we look at these terms being multiplied, everything essentially cancels. So the A will cancel with the A, the B will cancel with the B, and the C will cancel with the C. And uh, we know that that's all going to be okay because A, B, and C are all greater than zero. So we're not going to have any division by zero issues here. And also we're not going to have issues about negatives and how they interact. So essentially we get the left-hand side being greater than or equal to one, since uh, inside the bracket here we'll have one and one to the power of anything is still one. So now we can just multiply up the three. So we'll get um, our conclusion that A on B plus B on C plus C on A will be greater than or equal to, and I just bring the three up, three times one is three, and that is as required. So that's <coughs> essentially the proof, not really a lot to it in terms of working out, but I think often with these proof questions, the real challenge is knowing what technique to use. And I think, um, in terms of a strategy for getting better at these kinds of questions, really it's just as simple as lots and lots of practice. The more you can expose yourself to these kinds of proof questions, the more tools and techniques you'll have in your toolkit. And then really it just becomes trial and error, kind of trying things and seeing what sticks. So you may notice that there's a whole bunch of proof questions like this that have been sent through to me. And um, so if you wanted to go have a look through some of my older videos, you'll, you'll be able to see some of those. I'll, I'll provide some links to help you, you find them because that should help you get better at these kinds of questions. All right, tick boom.